If you're a fan of old school bodybuilding, then make sure to check out Subs the Movie. Filmmaker Alex Ardenti explores the $40 billion sports supplement industry, delving into the origins, evolution, and current state of supplements used by millions of fitness enthusiasts worldwide, available at Amazon and Vimeo. Damn, this is getting ridiculous. Just getting all this uh, sorted out, so get it out of the box, it's just incredible. Hi everybody, Golden Era book with me finally, after a few uh, minutes of getting all these mags out. I mean, this load just came from the UK, uh, must be about 200 mags here. And I've been meaning to really build up my collection of muscle and fitness and flex. Most of these, as you can see, are muscle and fitness. It's obviously, from the 80s and 90s, only some flex and other bits and bobs. I mean, look at that. Oh, man. Iron Man from 1986, Frank Zane. Amazing. MTI, Muscle Digest. More muscle and fitness. Lou as Hercules. If I can just get that out of the sun. There we go. And Bob Paris. I mean, damn. Awesome stuff. So, yeah, I'm going to actually try and go through all these covers with you. Uh, before my kids get home. <laughs> yeah, pretty exciting. Let's have a look at what we got here. We got, as I said, Iron Man with Frank Zane on the cover. Probably one of the last issues, actually, before it, uh, before Perry Rader uh, moved on, because he passed this on to John Balak, of course, who then gave it a more modern look. And that was pretty much one of the last issues of Iron Man. Um, here we have Muscle Digest with, oops, Jeff King on the cover. Really nice magazine, of course, from back then. Awesome stuff. We have muscle training. Some pretty decent mags here, too. Way back when, we have Andres Carling on the cover there. Mr. Ripped himself. Uh, Charles Bass, I believe his name is. Clarence Bass, sorry. Uh, there's Franco. Yeah. Nice stuff there, too. Moving on to Flex. Got quite a bit of mags here from Flex. Got a lot of faces there. Carling. Platts. Everson, and that uh, Michael Jackson dude, Tony Pearson, <laughs> Mike Christian, of course. There he is again, Pearson, the Michael Jackson of the 80s. Um, Beth Francis, I think she was Australian, uh, one of the first mass monsters, so to speak, of, of women's bodybuilding. Lee Haney, of course, Mohamed Makawi, Lou Ferrigno, he's come back. Rachel McLeish, one of my favorite female bodybuilders of all time. Gary Strider, really one of the first mass monsters around the Leaf Haney era. Uh, then we've got um, Sean Ray, sorry. Uh, I don't know who that is actually. Not sure who they are. Gladys Portugues, famous. Beauty, I think she used to date Jean-Claude Van Damme and Gary Stratum again. Moving up to now. The enormous collection of muscle and fitness. Almost a complete collection, actually. Um, actually, these are not from the UK now that I remember. These are actually all from the US. My apologies. Starting off with Lee Haney. So there was a guy on uh, Facebook who... An enormous collection that wanted to just get rid of all of it, and he sold most of it to me. Here we've got uh, Barry DeMay, some unknown, Bob Paris, another unknown, Rich Gaspari, 
Lufrinho with Betty Waiter, the woman with the impossible waist, as you can see. Even in her older age, she was quite a beauty. Um, Gaspari again, a couple of unknowns. Dolph Lundgren, now this is going to be cool. How he trained to fight Rocky. Who wants to find out? I know I do. I will be bringing such a video very soon. Definitely. Uh, that's what I liked about some of these mags back then. That they really showed you the training methods of some of these. Uh, some of the really cool actors. Those muscle actors from the 80s and 90s. Like the Jean-Claude. Dolph Lundgren, Arnold, of course, so where's the Stallone? And these guys train bodybuilding, and you actually learn a lot about that from these mags. Here we got Samir Benut. Another unknown, sorry, don't know everybody. Jay Cutler. I remember this issue. I remember it very well. Actually, I think I used to own it a long time ago. Um, some unknown again. <laughs> the fashion. <laughs> seriously, the fashion is ridiculous. I don't mind the girls' fashion back then, but the guys, I mean, seriously, I mean, without mullet, what the hell, mate? I'd kick you out of my gym, that's for sure. Here we got uh, Lee Haney, Barry DeMay, the absolutely gorgeous Rachel McLeish again. Um, oh, man, I can't remember. Really I believe. Oh, yeah, Bob Birdsong, of course, with Betty Wader and Corey Everson. Oh, two copies. Why? I don't know. Um, don't know. That's oh yeah, of course. It's the Eversons together, and a couple of more unknowns. Moving on to the next pile. Now, of course, we've got a couple of Arnold ones, and yes, I would be smiling like Arnold if I had a gorgeous blonde like that wrapped around my arms. <laughs> uh, here we go, Franco. May he rest in peace. A couple of aerobic... I don't know who they are. Here's Gaspari. Dickerson, may he rest in peace after winning. The Olympia. Ray Mensa, may he rest in peace. Franco, of course, may you rest in peace. Oh man, it's a lot of rest in peace right now. Here we have, of course, Dennis Tenorino, may he rest in peace. Oh my god, Yusup, may he rest in peace. Rory, thank god, still alive. Looking aesthetic. Wonderfully aesthetic. Um, I think that's Mike also. Uh, is that his name? Oh. Oh, Medenhall. Yeah, of course. May he rest in peace. Andres Carlin, still alive, thank God. Tom Platts, legend. Arnold, of course, legend. Reeves, another legend. This was his comeback, actually. Comeback special. Uh, lots of photos in there of Reeves and the way he trained at an older age. Robbie Robinson, Scott Wilson, Bob Paris. Not sure who that is. That's Tim Belknap. Never liked his physique. Way too massive for my liking. And of course, Rory. Rory. Great physique. I believe in this next pile, we got Scott again, Gary Stridham. I'll just place him on this side now. Some unknowns. Oh, that's Mike Quinn. Barry DeMay. Again, Barry DeMay. Some Magnum dude. <laughs> Jesus, I can't believe I used to turn up like that in the gym. Free admission. <laughs> Some other guy. And Lou. That's a great pile of mags there. Continuing, I think. No, that's not Milos. No, I thought for a second it might be. No idea. Is that Barry DeMay? I think so. Maybe. Can't tell sometimes. I don't know. Some hard bodies there. Chuck Norris. The Norris! Man. Legend, of course. No idea. Rich Gaspari. Some that mag the Magnum look was really in the mo, wasn't it? Back in the eighties, um, as you can see, again. <laughs> Gary Stride and didn't sport it though. No, 
And I think that's it. Oh, it's Matt. Sorry, Matt Mendenhall. I can't get his name right. May he rest in peace. Switching over to Muscle Mag. I have to apologize with uh, Matt Mendenhall, but I was never really a fan of him, I have to admit. Way too massive for my liking. That's why I don't know his name. Sorry. Bob Paris. Chris Dickerson. Mike Mensah. That's Bob Birdsong. And followed by Samir. The Little Fox. Lance Strayer. Uh, not, I can't remember her name. Gary Stridham. And again, Bob Paris. Yusup. And Lee. Nice little pile of muscle mags there. And to finish off, another cool pile of muscle mags here. Lou Ferrigno on the cover. Tom Platts. Harry Scott. Casey Vieto, may he rest in peace. Dennis Tenorino, and son's back. I have to apologize for that. Clean Eastwood. Not I'm sure who they are. Lee Labrada. I remember this guy. He looked very natural. Very natural. Harry Scott again. Lou Ferrigno. Not sure. Lufrinho again with Corey Everson. Dolph Lundgren. Again. Great cover. Great cover. And again, how he created his hot new shape. I'm Dolph and I'm hot. <laughs> yeah, I'd love to cover these um, great uh, routines, I'm sure. Arnold's new movie, Red Heat. Arnold, always looking like the man, right? Look at that. Blue really suits him. And that was like a follow-up from Arnold. Uh, Ralph Muller from, I think, Germany as well. He was a giant. And, yeah, some other random dude with Corey. That's it. That's this ginormous pile of mags that arrived from the U.S. Thank you to the owner who sold these to me at a very reasonable price that pretty much what I was trying to do really especially with muscle and fitness was to really increase my um, mag collection because I have to admit that I wasn't um, interested in anything past the 80s or even the 80s itself I kind of didn't have any mags but in the interest of I guess information I've started to collect as you can see from the 80s too and yeah sooner rather than later I hope to bring some of this information to you anyway hope you enjoyed the video at this ginormous stash of muscle and fitness mags if you have please give the video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't done so yet and leave me your comments um, do you have a complete collection of muscle and fitness that would be something to be proud of if you do let me know in the comments section anyway that's it for me. This is the Golden Era Book I'm saying. Bye for now. As a natural bodybuilder, it is imperative to know your own testosterone levels as they are a reflection of the anabolic environment created by your diet and training. I would highly recommend using the male hormone test kit from Let's Get Checked and make sure you use my code GOLDEN30 for a 30% discount. Again, the advantage of checking yourself regularly is that you will know how well your body is anabolically primed to put on the much desired muscle you are working for. Now, if you're interested in learning more about Vince Deronda's approach to bodybuilding, his principles, and all these tips of wisdom that he has, I mean, there's so much stuff that probably hasn't been proven by science, and it will take science to prove or disprove uh, Vince. But to be honest, these three books, I believe, which I call the Classic Physique Bundle, are the best books that Vince ever came out with. And they, of course, are the Wild Physique, the Master Series, and the Pro Series. Have a look at it this way. The Wild Physique, I believe, is like the ABCs 
of Vince Gironda's principles to bodybuilding. He teaches you the exercises and his principles. But how do you put them together? Well, the Master Series is a 14 month program of using all of these principles, all of the diets that Vince came out with, all of the exercises. And believe me, it's a brilliant, brilliant program. Many people have used it. I know, I know personally a lot of uh, bodybuilders that have actually used it and uh, f made fantastic results with it. And of course, the Pro Series was a book that he came out with later on, specially targeted for uh, getting into competition. It's just the, these three books, as I call it, the Classic Physique Bundle, uh, Vince's best work, and available, of course, at www.goldenerabookum.com. Now, the Pro Series of Bodybuilding, which was targeted for professional bodybuilders, is a contains six programs, each of which go for two months each, so it's a whole year, uh, again, in preparation for competition. Online training is now available, including my new program, Novice to Classic, a program geared towards beginners and novices looking at developing a classic physique, as well as Classic Cut, geared at those who wish to lose weight and gain muscle fast. Details available at www.goldenerabooking.com. Need a bodybuilding poster for your gym or office? Then check out ironmanmagazinearchive.smugmug.com for the highest quality posters on the planet. Scroll through the galleries of all the legends, including greats such as Arnold, Frank Zane, Sergio Oliva, Serge Nubre, Tom Platts, and Larry Scott, and much, much more, and select your poster now. To support your favorite YouTube channel, please visit teespring.com slash stores slash golden era bookworm for merchandise, including t-shirts, hoodies, face masks, phone cases, and much, much more. Once again, at teespring.com slash stores slash golden era bookworm. Become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books, scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding. I don't think that Bill Phillips looked at it as I want to compete against them. I want to destroy them. If they pass legislation basically making any type of food supplement a prescription item, that would be the end of death of the entire food supplement industry. In the 1960s, the sports supplement industry was barely emerging. I think the reason why Joe Weider was so successful was he had Arnold on his side. He wasn't selling supplements. He was in the dream business. Joe Weider was a marketing genius. People would say the promotions or the endorsements back then were cheesy. To me, it wasn't. I loved it. Fitness was taking off. You know, fitness became cool. You had a lot of readers that wanted to be like the stars that they idolized. Bill's strength is his marketing savvy. He's a marketing genius. Got it, got it. It's only vitamin. The right of American citizens to have free access to dietary supplements of their choice. Consult your physician, you might as well consult the next guy you meet on the street. They don't know a damn thing about vitamins and nutrition. The dietary supplement industry became the number two most regulated industry. Nuclear, dietary supplements, pharmaceutical. We are more regulated than drugs. They come in and you uh, need to allow the FDA. They have jurisdiction. The enforcement is kind of the questionable side of it and how do they really get a handle on this monster? A lot of people tell me that the dietary supplement industry is completely unregulated. It's the wild, wild west out there. It's a free for all. That could not be further from the truth. A dietary supplement is not allowed to have a side effect. I always say the pharmaceutical has to have a minimum of 100 side effects in order for it to be a drug. And now, it's a $40 billion industry and growing. That's the really interesting thing, is the cast of characters from the 80s, when it was kind of iffy, to now when it's a lot more legitimate. They made it sound cutting edge, revolutionary, and different, and I want that. That's cool. We are in this industry to improve our health. It's not just a vanity project here. We're working on our lifeline. We eat a certain way to improve our health. We train a certain way to improve our health. Supplements are just that. They supplement your work, your graft, your nutrition. Uh, they demonize dietary supplements, but they say all you need is real food. Well, what's a real food? They pump you up and get you harder, stronger, faster, bigger. Doc, I want to take this weight gain. I want to take this pre-workout. Doctors, no, no way. I, that stuff, we don't know what's in that. It could be, no way. I'm not going to give you, it's going to kill the industry, bottom line. 
So I must have drank so much protein powder from age 15 to 18 that my head was gonna explode. <laughs> I believed in metrics so much that I would probably punch somebody in the face if they tried to take it away from me.